What's up you dude? This is Silverbender188 and today in this tutorial in part 5 of our flash game development tutorials I'm gonna actually be going over how to calculate a distance between two points. Now a lot of people say when programming you need to know math. It's not necessarily required but it is a perk because a lot of especially when game development uses a lot of math. So game development yes we use a lot of math normal programming not so much it may use a few formulas here and there but game programming is where all where math really comes in and so what we're gonna basically doing is we're gonna be basically calculating the distance between these different points and make it to where the farther it is away from our current town which is town one it will make the bar longer to load so let's go ahead and get started um, first of all these are our buttons so we cannot track, uh, Flash does not allow you to fetch a buttons, oh, whoops, lock that, uh, it does not allow us to track a buttons uh, X or in Y or its position basically. I'm going to go ahead and move these to the layer above so they're up here. Okay, there we go. So now we can't select the button. Anyways, okay. So what we need to do is we need to create dummy movie clips. Like the ones we did in the town, how it appears in here, but it won't appear in game. We need to do the same thing. So just create a little circle. It doesn't need to be too big. Um, I'll actually do it about that. Go ahead and select it all. Created a movie clip. We'll just call it, make sure it's a uh, type movie clip, center registration. And we'll just go ahead and call it invisible point all right so now each one's gonna be unique to each town so you're gonna have to copy it multiple times and I'm zooming in just to get a better look so copy it to each dot and we're just gonna rename them this shall be titled point one Point, not 32, point 2, point 3, and then last, point 4. Let me just type that in. Okay, so now we have our four points. And what we're going to do is we're going to, let's say, um, we need to set a standard point. And for right now, we're just going to register town 1 as our, our point that we're currently at. So we're just going to go ahead and go into our actions layer come up to the top we're going to declare a couple of variables we're going to say point one x equals um, uh, let's do underscore root just to be safe point one yeah point underscore dot underscore x and what and make sure it says underscore x otherwise um, I'm not entirely sure about the difference between underscore x and x that's the only way it'll recognize it so and then we'll say point one y equals underscore root dot point one dot underscore y now we're not gonna set point two um, because that's actually gonna be set when we click on a certain town so Next, we need to create a formula that will uh, track the distance between two points. So we're just going to go ahead and create a function. We're going to call it, we're going to say function get distance. And we're actually going to pass in a few parameters in here. Um, so we're going to need, okay, the distance formula. Let me go ahead and open uh, paint here to explain it. Uh, distance, the distance formula my wonderful drawing skills the distance equals x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared and then after all that is figured out then you take the square root and that's our distance so so what we need to do is we need to create a formula that mimics this so let's go ahead and we're gonna need 
four different inputs we're going to need. We'll call our first point A's, so AX and then AY, and our second point B, so BX and BY. Those are the four variables that we have to pass into this function. So now we need to go ahead and get the subtract our x1 from x2. So what we need to do is say we'll call it dx meaning for distance x equals ax minus bx. And we'll do the same for y. So dy equals ay minus by. Next we need to actually get the distance. So we'll create a variable called the distance equals and I remember we need to get the square root so in order to do that we just type in in all caps math oh no just capital M math dot square root and then our number and what our number is actually going to be is going to be dx times dx which will get um, our x squared plus uh, dy times dy and then we'll just have this function return the distance okay so now we have a formula that will once we input four numbers it will get a, give us our distance and actually we're gonna go ahead and yeah we'll just okay so next what we need to do is we need to run this function um, from any of our buttons once they are clicked. As you can see, we have our standard code that we already have. We'll go ahead and add it to town two first, and then we'll add it to the rest. So the distance, like, whoops, it's actually underscore root dot get distance. We need to pass in four variables. So for our first x and y, we're going to type, actually do underscore root dot point one x and then underscore root dot point one y. So those are the first two variables. And if we go back to our actions layer, we see our first two variables is the x and y. And we have that already set, point one x and point one y. Now what we need to do is we actually need to get give a second pair of variables, the second b or the second x and the second y. So if we go back to our formula, we can actually just repl instead of typing underscore root or anything, we can just say point two, I believe that's it, yeah, point two dot underscore x, and then uh, point two dot underscore y, and there we go. Next, well, actually, we'll trace this first to make sure everything is working and we're going to go ahead and copy this well actually we'll just run it just to make sure it works we'll go ahead and continue go to the overworld okay so now if we click on our town 2 we get the button or we get the value 103.63 blah 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 and our bar successfully traveled but that's not what we're concerned about right now what we are concerned about is that town 2, the point of that dot and the point of this dot is 103.63 pixels away from town 1. So now if we go ahead and copy this code and we copy it to our town 3 button, oops, and change point 2 to point 3, you can change it to like the dots to be your town name that way you can easily remember it but we're just gonna do it this way if we go ahead and test if we click town 2 we get 103.63 that's normal now if we click town 3 we get 314.89 meaning from town 1 to town 3 is 314.9 pixels away I just rounded it up it's fine so now what we can actually do is go ahead and remove the trace so that we just have underscore root dot get distance. So now what we can actually do is on our actions layer we need to create a new variable 
we'll call it distance. And we'll just set that equal to zero for right now. Okay, and now next what we need to do is edit our travel function. And we'll set how we have it say plus equal one. What we need to do is we need to have whatever the distance is, make it this number smaller based on the distance to make the traveling bar load slower. So what we can do is we can simply just divide one, uh, yeah, just divide it by distance. And you see distance right now equals zero, meaning it wouldn't move anywhere. So what we need to do is in each button, instead of tracing this, and before we actually call the traveling function, we need to put it before, we need to set underscore root dot distance equals underscore root dot get distance in this entire formula. And then it says traveling to true, we'll then set up our function. So go ahead and again, just copy this because <laughs> we're lazy, it's fun. And delete that, be sure to place it before the underscore root dot traveling. And oh yeah, be sure to change the point numbers. And we'll actually do this one now for town four. And as you can see, I may have added a piece of code just resetting the bar every time you click it that way. You know, it looks decent, so. So change these to point four. So now if we go ahead and test our movie, continue. And we go ahead and go to our overworld. We'll now see if we click town one. Well, that's actually moving really slow. So what we need to actually do is make this a bigger number. Let's go 10. The larger this number is right here, the faster the bar will move. So if we click town two, as you can see, it's still kind of pretty slow. So let's go ahead and change it. Mm, 35. Go ahead, test our movie, continue. And now we click on town two. There you go, that's a much better travel speed. And that number can be adjusted yourself. You can change it to whatever you want. It's up to you, it's how fast you want the traveling to go. So you can see the speed that's going at. So now if we click town three, you can see it's going even slower. But it's not keeping track right now. We're not having it keep track of what town we're in. So, so if we click town four, you can see it's going really slow. So yeah, that's calculating the distance between two points and making the travel bar actually adjust itself according to how far it is from each point. What, we, what we'll do in the next tutorial is we'll actually uh, we'll make it track which town you are currently in once the bar fully travels. We'll add a cancel bar in case you want to cancel a travel. And uh, that's probably what will be in the next tutorial. We might go in the combat next couple tutorials but not the next one next one I feel like going over how to track which town the player is actually currently in we'll probably add a little HUD up here something like that so and this has been Jacob Bender thank you for watching I'll see you in my next tutorial